It is true. There never was, and probably will never be another Deion Sanders in football. Well, not for his 4.2 second 40 dash record from 1989, which is still intact, or the way he set some iconic trends in his NFL days. No, we're talking about Deion Sanders as the head coach of Colorado. Sure, in his two year journey with Colorado since the end of the 2022 season, Deion Sanders and company have had their share of setbacks, like a crushing 4 to 8 record. Yet, Coach Prime has become the most talked about head coach in CFB and probably all of college football. Remember the time when he left the crowd agog when he unveiled his recruitment strategy? It was a never seen before thing in college football, only recruiting based on the campus visits and not visiting a single school campus for the recruiting process. You know why? I'm Coach Prime. And I didn't stutter when I said it, Deion Sanders said, addressing the whole situation in his spring game press conference. Well, now is his chance to reiterate those words again with a proud smile on his face, thanks to the out-of-the-book milestone he has hit in Colorado. The latest post of no buffin' around media lauded Deion Sanders for his stereotype breaking hiring in the Buffs' staff. According to the picture they shared, the Buffs' players were being taught some drills by a female coach, a scene that is rarely seen in the male-dominated football landscape. Since football was banned for women in 1921, their appearance on the gridiron has been infrequent. Deion Sanders has made it possible. Shout out to Coach Prime for giving women the opportunity they so greatly deserve in this male-dominated field. Love seeing the diversity in his support staff. Building culture the CU way. The post read, giving a massive shout out to Coach Prime and company. Besides hiring women, Deion Sanders has also ensured that they get proper respect on campus. The warnings from him are loud and clear. Coach Prime has set only the highest level of respect and treatment for the women on the CU campus as the standard. Anything under that bar is a no-no on the CU campus. One thing I don't condone is disrespect to a woman. Be courteous, be gracious, and be polite, Sanders asserted while addressing the students seated in the auditorium. Deion Sanders even added about the players respecting the women they have in their lives. Coach Prime issued a clear-cut, no-nonsense warning to the players when it came to treating them right. Sanders pointed out that, if there's any dysfunction, obstruction with your girlfriend, fiancé, or whoever, with any abuse, that's it, it's over. Don't call me, don't have your mama call me, don't call Rick, George, Colorado's athletic director. It's a wrap. You understand that? We gone respect our women wholeheartedly, Sanders pointed out. To prove the respect he holds for women further, Deion Sanders also started a women's clinic in the Boulder campus, an announcement that he revealed in his interview with the pregame network. We're going to call it a five-star clinic because, in our world, we rank the quality of a prospect by stars, with one being the least and five being the most, Sanders said, calling the females and their team five-star heirs. Even the person that Sanders trusts with his life in Colorado, the one who exercises Prime's legs, which have a chronic condition of clotting and have undergone multiple surgeries, is a woman. Lauren Askevold, Colorado's assistant athletic trainer, the one who's always by Prime's side. Looking at the example Coach Prime has set in Colorado, the Buffs Nation can only expect to see more women getting added to the Colorado staff.